Wow. Now that is a surprise. <laughs> Jesus. No, this is not You're Still The One. It's a, although it sounds very similar, it's probably inspired. This is Always Remember To Never Forget by The Whole Other. Wow, now that is a surprise, <laughs> Jesus, don't know what the hell has happened here, I think they've uh, bit, trained a bit too much water out of this pound, wow, it's crazy, you can see now how it's shut in a, on the off side of the banks, of the canals, you can see uh, Freshwater mussels and stuff there in the middle. And someone's specking it up down there. <coughs> well, if you remember last time I was down here, none of this was here. And that was the day before a GRP actually came down. And I'll show you that GRP in a minute. But look. Very interesting to see a lock empty like that. <coughs> there's, there's the paddle. You see that lifts up when you do the the gear. Yeah, they obviously don't want people using these locks because what's happened is the day before that GLP came down, I came down and none of this was here. GLP comes down and all of a sudden they're like, yeah, people are using the locks, let's stop them. Because <coughs> that GRP has probably uh, pissed them off a bit for coming so close. And uh, you can't even navigate this anyway. It'll take forever to fill up. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a bit crazy at the moment. This one's even a bit empty. See? Another empty pound. When I was here in the moment, this didn't look like there was anything wrong going on here. But a couple of subscribers said to me a few days later that the lock might not be finished in time because it was flooded. This wasn't intentional. They, the CRT didn't want the lock to be flooded like this. And it makes sense now in retrospect because I can see the stop planks there. So I don't know who it was, but for some reason, someone had intentionally vandalized the lock. Anyway, as you can see, pretty much what's being done here is it's having brand new lock gates put in. So I just thought I'd update you guys on a couple of things. One being that I don't think we ever even mentioned that we're actually going away in the cab van for the first time this week. And that is down to Southampton because um, mum's actually gone down there. Um, I tried to record it as I went to Birmingham. Well, I recorded one clip, I think, but I was going to record a get out. But we were in the way of a big, massive truck, and uh, all chaos um, broke loose. We turned around, and two vans, were, uh, a big bus, and the van was coming. But if we went further, we'd go on the A road, the ring road around Birmingham. And we were trying to trying to get Mum at the bus station in the middle of Birmingham without going in the emission zone, because obviously the van is not going to be you less compliant so um to save paying the 12 pound or whatever that is <laughs> we, we uh dropped my mom a mile away and she uh walked to the uh, bus station along the canal uh, well she did make it in the end but um me and dad uh <laughs> had to do a bit of reversing and getting out of the way of some angry drivers anyway um 
head it back here, and then uh, that was first, no, Wednesday. So me and Dad were here on our own. I went out. Dad went to work Thursday because he's got his first Thursday back now. So I've been here on my own since Thursday. It's Sunday now. Um, I haven't done too much. I've been editing a load of videos really, and I've almost caught up. Uh, but I've been going on a couple of walks, as you've seen. Well, one of them I didn't show. I had a lovely walk, a sunset walk above. Or just around Tardy Big, a circular walk, and above the uh, reservoir there, sort of beautiful sunset, lovely. Um, but anyway, um, Monday, hello, tomorrow, me and Dad are going to be heading down to Southampton because I thought, mm, where could we go? Because I was going to go to the Peak District a couple of weeks ago, but the weather was rubbish. And that was too far away. So I thought, where could we go? Oh, how about if we go pick Mum up, we could go on Dad's old stomping ground, which is the new forest, um, and stay away in the camper van for a few days. And pick her up and take her back. It's only about two and a half hours away now. So that's what we're going to do. It's Mother's Day today. Um, she's down there for Grandad's birthday, 86 years now. And Mother's Day. So, yeah, don't get to spend Mother's Day with Mum. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we're going to go down there, spend a couple of days in the van, because the van is, yeah, it's ready for a weekend away. Well, even though it'll be in a week. <laughs> but um, the weather's looking okay. It's not going to rain too much, I don't think. Um, so that was one thing that I was worried about, you know, the weather being rubbish. And it was quite nice this week. Apart from today, it's raining. Um, anyway, yeah, it's editing away in my bedroom yesterday, and two familiar faces walked past the window. Out of about 250 people. I mean, it's very busy here. But these faces were none other than um, Maggie and Tony, who actually helped us through Leicester, if you remember, almost a year ago it was now. Um, because to get through Leicester is a big old cruise, loads of locks, and um, they actually gave us a lift back to get the, uh, the, the car. Yeah, the car it was then, the Saab. <laughs> um, and yeah, they just walked past. I knew they were in the marina around here. Um, Shakespeare's Marina, and I was like, oh wow. So she messaged me and she said, oh, we can help you down a few locks. I said, oh, lock 29 is shut. But I would like to go down about six locks. Um, just so there's less to do when we get back Thursday. It's Thursday the 14th, and I feel like a lot of people are going to be heading down that day. So they're going to come in a minute and they're going to help me down the locks because I wasn't going to do it on my own, but I just do not feel confident enough to do it on my own. So they are actually going to help me down the locks, and I'm going to be driving the boat down. Um, it's going to be a further away from the car park, but it doesn't matter because I've got a trolley. I'll meet Dad there with the stuff tonight, and uh, then we'll just take ourselves tomorrow morning. But please do make sure to check out the van channel, because it will not be on here. Maybe I'll put a few clips up, but it won't be on here. Please go check out the van channel. Same quality as these videos, just in the van instead of on a narrowboat, and... You know, you get some vlogs sometimes when I go away, like down the office room and that. It'll just be the same as that, but better edited and with drone footage. So please go subscribe to the band channel because I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much. They're here. They haven't done many locks. I got you on camera now, you're gonna be in a vlog. Yeah, of course I would. So I don't wanna take it down by myself because of this seal. If it was going up, I would have done it. Maggie actually gave me some worrying news. She talked to the lockies down there, or well, the people doing the the lock. And she said that it might not be open on Friday because someone flooded the lock. I don't know who it was, but someone flooded the lock, vandalized it, and flooding it, and uh, I don't know. The only other boat around here is the GRP down there. There's a sail, I'm fine.
I like the fender on these as well. Some sort of a um, There they go. They gotta go now. It is Mother's Day of all. After all, um, in pins here, but uh, it is in very solid ground. That was very hard to get in. Annoyingly, this lock has no bollards left. Well, of course, it used to, but they've all fallen in the canal. Um, so I'm just going to put in. As many pins as I have, I'll put in the centre line as well. Just because um, I hate leaving the boat. Well, we all hate leaving the boat on pins because you know how unreliable pins are. But these, this is very solid ground, very. So I think we'll be alright. Yeah, I don't think that's going anywhere now. Two pins at the back, one in the middle, two at the front. Hello everybody. What? Oh, <laughs> I was going to speak. <coughs> Sorry. Of course it's a good start, isn't it? I was just playing my game. I didn't even know he was on camera. Hello. Hello there. Hello. Um, well, today is 15th of March. Yeah. And if you know canals and uh, stop winter stoppages, they all tend to finish today. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Yeah. So... This is when tidy big lock number 29 bottom bottom lock is supposed to be done today and um, one but day. we are a bit um we are a bit desperate like for pump out and water yeah so it's really we have to really get we can't reverse back like how many locks we've just been through <laughs> can we so um, we're hoping to um yeah also we did we're back from the new forest aren't we? yeah we had a lovely time in the new forest yeah. apart from getting stuck again <laughs> yeah, make sure you go and watch that because it's quite exciting actually. <laughs> yeah, all good fun. Yeah. You have some adventures, that's yeah, that's on the camper van channel. Mm. So you only see that on there. Yeah, go check out the camper van channel because yeah, it's, it's very interesting. Yeah, what so we got up to. if you have a little that's our first trip out guys. Yeah. And it went yeah, it went okay, didn't it? Mm. Apart from Andy snoring all night and keeping me awake, but yeah. <laughs> But um, that's something well. I'm going to have to get used to. On the boat, he sleeps here, and I sleep 70 foot away from him, so it's not a problem. But we're only about, say, six, eight foot away from each other, yeah. aren't we? Six, eight foot nine, away from each other. Foot, maybe. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, it went alright. But um, Tidy Vega course opens today. It's River Seven still on floods. So we just go for Tidy Vega, and we can't get much further anyway. Yeah. So we've got to see how we go, really. Yeah. We're just going. There's a Another six locks after the six we have to go through first. Um, yeah, we asked if we could move down this morning. But said no. Weren't really allowed. Um, no, no, you'll affect the water levels. You can't yeah. do that. Okay, I said, oh, we'll wait till four then and see what's yeah. going on. So we're going to take a walk down in a minute and yeah. see because, yeah, it might be pushed back to Monday. Hope we four. So it won't be good to know one. Yeah. But, um, yeah, anyway. Yeah, let's have a look. <laughs> Right, so let's get a better understanding of where we are and where we're going. So, of course, we're on the Birmingham Worcester Canal, which is here. It joins Birmingham to Worcester. Now, we're actually on the Avon Ring, very popular for high boaters. And essentially, you just go in a big ring from the Birmingham Worcester, down the River Severn, and up the Avon. The Avon is not owned by the CRT, though, so we have to pay a separate license for that. And then we'll be going down the Grand Union Canal. But in the meantime, we'll be coming down the rest of Tardy Big, six locks, and then another six locks, down to Stoke Prior, where we get some water, and then we'll head to Astwood Locks, where we're more up for a couple of days, before moving through Astwood Locks, down to the bottom lock. Unbelievable, they didn't get us there. They say, check the website. We can't, because it doesn't have Is the CRT website been? No. Maybe did. No, it's open. There's the a Black, Black Prince is coming up. Black Prince is coming through. <laughs> Bloody typical, isn't it? So at least it'd be some of them being our favour anyway. Yeah.
This wasn't actually a high bower, this was actually a boat mover. Now one day he was in the lock first. He's taken the boat up to Birmingham for a client, of course. But there is some black princess heading this way, he said. The new lock gates, 2024, and it's already rusty, um, yeah, not to be the first boat through, but uh, second, I guess. Um, here's the remains of the old balance beam, I remember this was falling apart two years ago, um, when we came up, yeah, needed changing. That's the extra bit they had to put on because the rest of it rotted. So they put on a little extension, temporary extension. I didn't even had time to put on the number plate yet. And with that, lock 29, we've made it down tidy big flight. Yeah. Although it's not over for locks yet. No. It's weird because um, the top gates are 2005. I think they're only for places soon as well. Yeah. Josh reckons there's one up there that are 1999. Oh, I think that's probably all right. <laughs> there's the Black Princes. <laughs> they're there, ready to go up tomorrow. Well, they can't really go up tonight, it's going to be dark. No, exactly. It takes three and a half hours to get up there. Well, that's tidy big dumb, but you don't get to rest for long. There's another six locks to do. been windswept.
At the Black Prince Hire Base, here is where the rubbish point and Alsan is. By the time the water had filled up it was practically dark, but we only had about a mile to cruise. It does make a big change cruising in the dark though, seeing all the lights and the, the setting sun. Right, so it's Sunday today. I'm actually going down the lock. Now, uh, Sunday's the day I, I didn't ne I just never cruise on. It's too busy. Which it is quite busy today. But it's been quite busy with boats today, obviously, because everyone's making their way down Tardy Big. Yesterday we had four boats come up, but no boats down because everyone was coming down Tardy Big yesterday. But today, it's been the opposite way around. There's been about five boats up and actually one boat up. I mean down. Five boats down. And pretty much all higher boats, all the ABC boats are out now. Um, it's the 15th of March is when it officially starts really. Um, but one boat came up. And I was like, oh mum, why don't we go today and save Dad having to get up in the morning when he's all tired and worn out. I have to do the locks, you know. So I said, we'll just go down the locks, six locks. So then tomorrow Dad didn't have to do any locks. He can have a lie in, you know. Because locks are on our side at the moment, and I don't know how long uh, for. Ooh, this one's looking pretty empty.
We're gonna moor in this lovely quiet spot just for tonight until Dad gets back. Thank you very much for watching. Give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.